settled for the whole week? Uh, not for the whole week, uh, only for part of the week. But yes, as you say, it is vile. It's vile out there at the moment. In fact, David Gregory, our science correspondent, said that his Alexa described today's weather as dreary. I do not doubt it. In fact, it's even worse than that, as we has, have already seen, or you may have seen if you've been outdoors uh, already today. Uh, but this is how it started off uh, in Birmingham this morning for some of us. Not everyone was privy to these sorts of scenes because, of course, elsewhere it was misly, it was misty. It was uh, beginning to get quite drizzly, but but uh, we are now starting to see full-blown rain crossing the region. And uh, this is the reason why. We've got an area of low pressure situated to the northwest. This is Storm Brendan, and that's going to be moving further northeast as uh, the night progresses. So really, the main focus is across the north of the country there. We're on the quieter side of it. This is the area of low pressure that's going to affect us tomorrow, and that's bringing in even worse winds and some rain as well. So there's a warning in place for tomorrow where we could get gusts of between 50 to 60 miles per hour, whereas tonight we're looking at uh, wind speeds gusts of around 30 to 40 miles per hour. So the sorts of winds we're experiencing right now could cause some disruption through the next few hours. We've got some heavy rain as well heading eastwards, but uh, eventually the whole lot will start to clear away southeastwards and we'll be left with some fairly punchy, pokey showers. But uh, there'll be lots of dry weather in between and some uh, clear skies as well, just a slice of that through central parts and temperatures dropping to about 3 to 5 Celsius. The winds will be easing as well as we head into the morning tomorrow. So actually tomorrow starts off on a dry note with plenty of sunshine around and it won't be until the middle part of the afternoon uh, when rain arrives from the west and you can see that's fairly heavy as well, turning showery towards the end of the day. But I think the peak for the winds and for the rain will be tomorrow afternoon into the evening. As I say, we could get gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, but it's a mild day. Look at those temperatures, 14 Celsius in the south, 11 Celsius in the north. And then looking further ahead, well, tomorrow night that rain continues its journey eastwards. It'll clear by the time we get to Wednesday, but it will be left with a lot of showers, some sunshine in between, plenty of dry weather as well, and temperatures of around 8 to 9 Celsius.